This is outrageous. It's, it's unacceptable. You know, it was bad enough we had a storm, people died, people lost their wages, people lost their jobs, and now people have lost their cars. This used to be a 1995 Nissan Altima. It survived being buried by the holiday blizzard, but didn't stand a chance against the tons of snow heaped on it by the Department of Sanitation during its cleanup efforts. I'm looking for the plate and maybe, you know, take it with me, but it's nothing I can do, as, uh, as you see, there's nothing in there. They remove everything. The car's owner says it was parked for two days on a street in Midwood, Brooklyn. Unfortunately, that's the same street being used as a dump site for the snow. I understand that the city has to do um, this uh, cleanup process, and it's important that uh, we clear the streets and the sanitation do their job uh, to the best of their ability to uh, to get things moving in our city. But this is uh, this is just unbelievable. Mario Roca discovered his truck underneath a 20 foot high mountain of snow. This right here is the frame of the box truck. It's been completely ripped off, exposing the insides of the truck. Uh, this is unsalvageable. This cannot be repaired. Um, the inside windshield is completely collapsed. The mirror is gone. I don't have access to the truck, either the back of the truck and the furniture that's in there, or even the, the inside of the cab. Both men say they're hoping the city will provide compensation for their vehicles. Unfortunately, you know, that's, that's my tools, you know, to come from, from Queens, like 30 miles away, you know, from here. This is the truck I use for business. This is the truck I use for uh, moving and delivery services. I'm ho I'd like the city to take responsibility and, uh, and just compensate me for, for the value of the vehicle. But the living aren't the only ones with reason to complain. Huge piles of snow caused a fence surrounding Washington Cemetery to partially collapse, knocking over a number of tombstones. Local politicians are outraged. I mean, this is a disastrous end to a incredibly bad week for us here in Southern Brooklyn. Remember, this neighborhood was the last one to be shoveled out. Our streets were not cleared until Saturday night. This is Brian Stillman with the New York Post.